Hello, people of the internet, mainly my Facebook feed. I probably don't need to introduce myself. I probably know all three people who are going to watch this. But my name is Rowan, and today I am going to introduce you to my roly-poly colony. Using the term colony lightly, there's not that many in there. So, in this video, I just want to cover the how, what, why, who, huh, who, who, as to what roly-polies are, why I'm bothering keeping them, what's the benefits, what's the downsides, how to take care of them, all that good stuff that you need to know. So, shut up, laptop. What is a roly-poly? Pill bug. Potato bug. Sow bug. Actually, sow bugs are different. Anyways, they're not bugs. They're not insects. They're actually crustaceans. So they're most closely related to, like, crayfish, shrimp, crabs, all that fun stuff. They are arthropods, crustaceans, and isopods. If that means anything to you, congratulations, you're a science nerd. Uh, their family name is Armadilla Dilla Dilla Dalla Dula Dula Day. Clearly the word comes from something to do with armadillos, because they have the segmented bodies and they can kind of roll up. Um, there's sort of two types that live around here. One is an actual pill bug or roly-poly, and the other one's called a sow bug. I'll put some pictures in here somewhere. I like roly-polies better. They creep me out less. Sow bugs can get really big. They're really fast, and the key is they don't roll up. So if you're looking for a pill bug, poke it, rolls into a ball. That's what I'm talking about. If it doesn't roll up, then it's a sow bug. Also, they have little spiky things coming off of their butt, which kind of just makes them a little more intimidating. Um, what else? Fun facts. Uh... Like I said, they aren't bugs. They're the only crustaceans that can live their entire life on land, but they do breathe through gills. So, need to keep the container real, real humid so they can actually function and breathe. So yeah, that's, that's what they are. Why would you want to keep them as pets? Now obviously, if you're like a science or a bug nerd, they're fun to keep as pets. I've always been obsessed with them since I was a little, little kid. I would fill my pockets with them and try to bring them in the house. I always loved going into the backyard and flipping rocks just to go poke and look at all the different bugs. Um, but more practical reasons you might want to keep these guys. Uh, food for other reptiles and insects. I'm not exactly sure which ones can eat roly-polies and which ones can't. I'm trying to figure that out right now but they can be bred and used for reptile food. And also, keeping roly-polies is really good for like a kid's science experiment type of thing. I'm sure you've heard of ant farms before. Sort of the same deal, except if like your ant farm falls over or breaks, you're gonna have a bunch of little tiny microscopic ants crawling all over your house and trying to find your food. Roly-polies, they're really big, they're really fat, they can't climb up smooth surfaces, they're kind of just big, dumb, boop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. So, if they do escape, they're a lot easier to find. Also, they can't survive in um, conditions that aren't damp or humid, so if you don't have a leaky basement or something like that, if they escape into your house, they're not going to survive that long, so they aren't going to eat your house, they're not going to cause any problems, they're probably not even going to find your food, they'll just die off if they don't make their way back home. This is their little tank. It's literally just a Tupperware container about the size of my face. It's got a couple holes poked on the top. Um, I'll get a better video of it after. But yeah, uh, some people keep them in like terrariums, some people build enclosures, They they don't need that. Just a Tupperware container, poke some holes in it, make sure it's a smooth surface on the side because they cannot, they, they can't climb it. This was the old enclosure I had for all of the juveniles until I accidentally killed them by forgetting about them. We'll get to that later. Um, 
And just to show you the kind of stuff that I put in, this is a very crusty old piece of moss. It's not crusty when it's in there with them getting water. But I just found this in my driveway and dusted off any of the debris and put it in there. They really, really like the moss. Um, this is just a rock. I got it in a bag of rocks from the dollar store for my succulents. So again, like really basic. So this is the inside of their enclosure. I am a little hesitant to poke around too much just because it's been about two weeks since the babies were born and that means they've started molting. Um, Roly-polies are really fragile when they're molting. But as you can see, there's a baby there. Let's see if I can focus. Oh, there's a little baby. And there was a few more over here if they haven't. Yep, there's one. Oops. Alright, so basically, this is just some dirt. Some of it's potting soil. Most of it is dirt that I found with them when I initially got them from the wild. Um, these are a bunch of leaves. You know, again, pretty basic. Let's see if I can find any. Oh, there's an adult. Let's see if it can focus. Hi, friend. Oh, and another baby. So just a bunch of random leaf litter. Um, I have two of those smooth rocks in here and one big old piece of moss. There's, they like the moss the best. The rocks I've found, they aren't too thrilled about. But the moss is their shit. So yeah, I put maybe about two centimeters of dirt in there. They do like more because then they can, uh, they do like dig tunnels and make little caves for themselves, but... I just like them being very easy to keep track of, so I try to keep the dirt to a minimum. They love, 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 love the big chunks of moss. Um, like I said, the rocks they aren't as interested in. And I have found the big fat adults like the damp areas and more moisture than it seems like the juveniles and babies do. When I had my tank of juveniles, they would usually hang out on the tops of leaves and on the rocks, kind of avoiding the moisture. Whereas the adults, they're almost always buried either under the moss or in the dirt or hiding under leaves. They really like the dark, damp areas. Nice. I missed a bunch, but like I clogged the vacuum. Like, the vacuum's done for it right now. I don't want to. Should Dad just bought a new one, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's no. waiting. So the last thing I'm gonna cover, and yes, I am too lazy to make shift another camera stand. I'm just holding this. Deal with it. Um, how to take care of them? They are super, super, super crazy low maintenance. The main two things you really want to watch out for is keeping them away from extreme heat and making sure the tanks stay humid. They need water. Those are the two ways that I've killed them before, which I guess I can go into in another video. Um, but yeah, if the tank dries out, they will be dead very, very shortly. And if they're in too high of heat, the tank will dry out and they'll die really shortly. Um, you don't really need to... There's no pill bug food you need to buy. Um, you can give them kitchen scraps, like vegetables and fruits, but I find it's easier to just let them eat the leaves because if you're giving them kitchen scraps, it's really, really easy for mold to grow in the tank, and mold is super bad for them. So um, earlier when I got them, it was about the summertime, I think, coming into fall, I did give them food scraps more often, but that just meant that I had to change the dirt and clean their tanks way more often, which is fine, but it's a little hard to do in the winter. Um, I don't want to take them outside if it's that cold, right? Uh, so now I just leave the leaves in there. They eat the leaves, they eat the moss, they eat their own poo. They're basically, they take care of themselves as long as you keep things moist. And, oh, oh god. Woo! I have this little spray bottle. I just, uh, a few times, well, a few
few times a week, basically whenever I notice things getting dried out, and, um... You're especially going to want to make sure the tank is moist if they are molting. Uh, it helps them molt, otherwise they can get stuck and die, which has happened to a few of mine. Really sad and kind of gross. Um, so I guess that's the basics of roly-polies. Uh, they're cute, they're little buddies, they're really easy to take care of, and um, it's pretty cool to watch them grow and watch them breed and, you know, all that fun stuff. So, I will keep you guys posted on the babies. Have a good day!